Stories from our communities in Brazil and Republic of South Africa are highlighted in our events roundup this week. While in MMM Gives Back, a team from MMM Nigeria visits the children of Gusau Orphanage home. And in his Just an Opinion segment, Gaider Milson One asks BTC Mavro, is it useful? Details of our stories in just a moment. To all our viewers around the world, this is MNC, your Mavro News Channel. This week, we start off in Balsas, a city in the state of Maranhao, Northeast Brazil. On December 10, 2016, Gander Hermes Honorado was able to gather 14 people at the presentation hall in a hotel in the city for his MM offline presentation. He presented to them the origin of MMM and how it started in their country. He also showed them what awaits those who will decide to take part in the community. After the presentation, Gaider Hermes also did a raffle draw wherein four of his guests receive $100 each as prize. The winners in turn used the reward as their initial donation after they registered as participants of MM Brazil. Drinks and snacks were also shared as the festive raffle draw was ongoing. Elated with the result of his effort, Gaider Hermes vowed to continue spreading the MMM ideology in nearby communities. And for a well-executed presentation, this is what Gaider Hermes received from his guests. The following day, December 11, another Gaider from Brazil delivered a successful offline presentation. <laughs> Though it was her first, Gaider Rosaria Garcia Sena was able to gather 25 people. Dinner was served while she was speaking in front about what MMM is and how the platform works. There were two highlights during her event. First was a raffle draw where the winner Mr. Ramon Batalha received 200 Brazilian real. Mr. Batalha also promised Gaider Sena that if everything she said about MMM were true, he will bring people under his sales team to join MMM and also devote a chunk of his time solely for the advancement of the community. The other highlight was when she's in collaboration with the waiters in the venue prepared a surprise for one of her guests who was also celebrating their birthday that time. For a first timer, she was very satisfied because she thinks she exceeded her expectations. She received compliments on how she conducted the presentation. She said that the kind words made her happy and made her motivated to do other events soon. She added that next time she will use a better camera to capture videos during her events. She was also satisfied with the numbers she generated. Out of the 25 in attendance, five are currently registered and out of the remaining guests, Gaider Sena was able to get eight new registrations with four already making their initial donations and the rest of participants have showed great interest in registering in the future. From Brazil, we now move to Republic of South Africa where our remaining stories for this week happen. We start off with Gaider Sane Dlamini and her team who organized a presentation for the people of Durban at the Wiggins Community Hall on December 17 of last year. Hi, my name is Sunny Salini, a triple M fighter. That day, Guy Sunny was not the main speaker. She took care of the opening and closing messages, while a male member of her team did the entire presentation. The speaker highlighted how MM continued to change people's lives in South Africa even after major setback last year. He said that one of the reasons why it is so was because of the ideology of MMM. He also showed them the way the donation exchange works and the different bonus system in place that are meant to give maximum benefits to members. Another topic discussed was the registration process where they thought the attendees 
how the registration is done, and the information needed to successfully register. Next shown was how to log in to their personal office and navigate each tab inside. They also gave tips on how to keep their account safe from hackers. Before ending, they encouraged those who wanted to join to also consider joining the guider schooling as they said this will give them optimum benefits and in terms of bonuses. They also remind the audience of the risks involved and the importance of following the do's and don'ts for safe participation. On her closing statement, Guider Sun encouraged those who have not joined yet to see how the community works by just using their spare funds. During his presentation in Omlazi Durban on the same day, December 17, Guider told the audience that the MMM tagline, Together We Change the World, sums up what MMM ideology wants a community of common people fighting together against an unfair financial system wherein the rich get richer every day while poor people get poor. <laughs> He added too that the little salary an average person gets taxed more than the corporations does to survive they resort to borrowing money from banks or loan sharks. In turn, charge them high interest and that this unjust system happens to almost all common folks. From there, he told them where MMM stands to help them be freed from these financial bonds. He showed them the bonuses that they would get if they simply donate under the mutual aid program and how they could get more bonuses if they start inviting people and become a guider. All throughout, he positioned MMM as a better but more affordable alternative for them to slowly liberate themselves from financial bondage and start experiencing what financial freedom is. Before ending, Guider Sandil encouraged his guests to ask questions about things that were not clear to them. Through constant presentations only will MMM gain a lot of popularity and thus help more South Africans put decent food on the table. This was the mindset of Gaider Javed Omar when he conducted another offline presentation at the Woodview Secondary School in Durban, KwaZulu Natal, also on December 17th of last year. Good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to my presentation. Thank you for joining me. He started the presentation at 6 in the evening wherein he told his audience that one of the keys available to them to unlock new financial gates is MMM. He was up front as well in telling them that MMM South Africa have been through a restart but he reiterated that despite the challenges the community has faced, it has emerged stronger than before. He told them that the secret to the resilience of MM is its ideology wherein people help people using their spare funds and at their own volition. He added that they must fully understand the ideology before participating so they would be able to fully appreciate how the MMM system works. He next showed them what benefits they would get through bonuses should they decide to join and help the community grow. Before ending, he shared that in MMM, it is important to use spare money every time one makes a contribution and that MMM believes in honesty and kindness. He encouraged them to ask wherever they did not understand so he can guide them fully. We'll just, I'll show you all the minutes from yesterday's meeting just to see where are we with the system at this moment. Because there's something that the programmers are still busy with for now, up until uh, January. That was Guider Sibusisu Martins delivering his welcome message for an offline presentation for the people of Kwazimba in Durban, KwaZulu Natal. He told his guests first about the current state of MM Republic of South Africa. Then he shared the ideology in detail and urged them to listen carefully to every word he shares so they can make the right decisions later when they join this community. He told them that in MMM it is not only about money 
but the aim is to destroy the world's unjust financial system. He pointed out that though MMM wants to destroy an unfair system, it does not mean that it does not want people to have money. He said that what it wants is to end people's reliance on institutions like banks and be a community themselves that help one another. From there, he showed them how MMM does it by discussing in detail how the donation exchange works and the many bonuses that each member gets. He was also quick to point out, though, that these benefits come with risk. Hence, they should be mindful of the rules on safe participation. Before closing his presentation, he encouraged everyone who are not members yet to join in the endeavor to change this financial system that has destroyed and robbed us every day. He also said that MM has brought this platform so we can earn while we donate to each other while it also aims to eliminate all the obstacles that we have been led to believe. They are the only right channel to earn a decent living. Our last featured story this week was organized by Gaider M. Lonepeni Dlamini at the Jaconia Century on the 18th of December last year. He only had three people in attendance but he did not cancel the event. He proceeded as usual and shared with them how MMM started in Russia under Sergei Mavrodi guidance and how it spread around the world and reached South Africa. In discussing the ideology of MMM and what it wants for its members, he encouraged his audience to join this community and take a step to liberate themselves from financial poverty. He shared more on details of how the MMM system works, how donations are exchanged, and how their bonuses grow. He laid out that in MMM, everything is spelled out and laid bare, and all a member needs to do is read and understand the ideology and the basic guidelines. He told them too that though the benefits are tempting, they must always remember that MMM does not give any guarantee that they would always get a return whenever they provide help. He assured them though that MMM has security features in place like post mode and restart to ensure that everything is fair. He went on and encouraged them to try the system from with as little as 100 South African rands. Yeah, we yeah the uh, items that uh, was approved for me to present to the orphanage room. Yes, bag of rice, lumi, milk, pampas, uh, uh, sunlight dishwash, computer, big, etc. These are the material presented to the orphanage room in South Africa. That was Guider Femi Akande as he was formally handing over the gifts they brought for the children of the Gusha Orphanage Home during their charity presentation last November 2, 2016. Before that, he already shared in brief the nature of MMM and what it does to not only lift the people who are members of the community but also those who cannot afford to join but are also in need of help. He also expressed his thanks to the community for the opportunity to help the shelter. His efforts were not in vain as he received many thank yous from the children and the volunteers in the center. A representative from the children also offered a closing prayer thanking Guider Femi and his team, MMM founder Sergey Mavrodi and the entire MMM community for the help extended. Both sides also promised to collaborate again for future activities. Great day to all our viewers around the world watching MNC. My name is Emil and this is Just My Opinion. On our previous segment, I shared my thoughts about the delays and the partial allocation of PH requests. It's nice to see that majority of our viewers were enlightened about the issue which resulted in more positive feedbacks. Today, what we are going to tackle is about the Mabro BTC. Recently, MMM introduced it to probably help participants handle the frequent fluctuation of Bitcoin price in the coin market. In the announcement, they said that converting Mavro to BTC and vice versa 
will be very useful for participants who wants to take advantage of the rising uh, value of Bitcoin. I think it's also a way for MMM to promote the use of Bitcoin. If I will be asked personally, I would always choose Bitcoin for providing help versus the bank method. It is because using the services of the banks to provide help in MMM is like jeopardizing the ideology itself. We tell everyone that MMM is against the uh, system of the bank, but many of us are still dependent on the banking system. So I guess Mabro BTC will help to open up the curiosity of many participants about Bitcoin. And this move from the administration is very timely, especially now that MMM is getting more popular in many countries. The media and the government are less likely to be in favor of MMM, so I'm sure using Bitcoin is the best way to prevent them from disturbing the community. Another thing to consider about Bitcoin is its value. It continues to go up in general. I remember when I started learning Bitcoin during uh, mid of 2015, the price is just around $200. But now, fast forward to 2017, its value raised up to $1,000. So using Bitcoin to perform uh, PH and GH will, will surely benefit every participant of this community. Furthermore, I'm also seeing this action from the administration as a way to combat copycats and scammers like the recently reported Mavro coin, which claimed to be a part of the MMM system when in fact it is not. The people behind Mabro coin are just one of the many groups that is trying to put the name of MMM to shame and possibly or probably wants to complete, uh, completely destroy the system. So if you are watching this video and if you're not yet using Bitcoin, please do so. And please share this uh, episode so that your co-participants will also refrain from using the bank method and start their way of utilizing the power of decentralized cryptocurrency. In this way, we can support MMM and its ideology to change the current financial system. That's it for this week. I will see you again next week for another interesting and exciting topic. If you have a suggested topic that we can discuss, send that over to bit.ly or bit.ly forward slash just my opinion. One word with no space. And we will uh, take a look at it and maybe or probably we can include that in our future topics. This is Emil saying, always remember that everything that I said in this video is just my opinion. Have a great day guys and bye-bye. That's it for this week. Tomorrow most of us will be joining the celebration of love through Valentine's Day. May tomorrow be also a reminder of spreading the love to anyone like we do in the MMM community where we do not discriminate and everyone is treated fairly. Happy Valentine's Day everyone. I'm Mark. Always remember, together we change the world.